morning everybody welcome back to the channel so another sunday morning on the river dart i've come back to the same sort of area um, i was in last week where i showed you how i use the uh, the wimberley sidekick and today i want to do a bit of an extension of that so um, i want to show you how i use a monopod um, alongside the wimberley sidekick for more mobile uh, sort of walk and shoot type uh, photography so hopefully we're in for a great day. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, yeah, let's get stuck in. So my normal gear and setup for this type of walk and shoot photography, um, I've got the D500 on the Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary lens. I've got my Wimberley Sidekick, Benro B2 ball head, leveling head on the, from the mic tripod by three-legged thing. I've got the three Vans accessories, again from Three Legged Thing. And I've got one of the legs from the Mike Tripod by Three Legged Thing. So this is generally everything that I use when I go out for walk and shoot photography. You've probably seen me talk and you know heard me talk quite extensively about this um, on my channel. Um, I did a full review um, of the tripod, which I'll link to up here. Um, it's just such a great bit of kit, it really is. Um, and one of the reasons I did get this tripod is because you can detach the legs um, and uh, use them um, as a monopod. And that's exactly what I'll do. Okay, so there's different ways that you can set up um, the monopod using this, uh, this kit. Um, if I'm just going out for sort of walking out and about with the dog um, or the family and I'm on sort of level ground, um, if I'm not going to be taking any video content, if I don't really need a, a massively stable base, um, then um, I'll just use the um, rubber uh, foot here um, on, the, uh, on the leg. So this is um, detachable here, um, and this will come into play um, a little bit later. But essentially, the reason I like this um, setup here is that you can actually get quite a lot of... Um, range of movement here quite a big sort of arc if you like um, once you've got that on the ground there you're not uh, sort of restricted um, in terms of the movement um, so that's a really um, sort of simple um, way to use it I'll then attach the Benro ball head okay now in normal circumstances if you didn't have the Wimberley sidekick you can still use this um, perfectly well as a uh, as a monopod you need to get the um, arca plate here that would be on the bottom of your lens attachment uh, your lens mount if it doesn't come sort of pre-molded with that and then basically you have got yourself a fully functioning monopod that you can adjust the height of um, and you know that's going to give you a really good stable um, you know base to take much more um, stable shots than you would do you know be able to if, you, if you're handheld so obviously the advantage of having this stable base is that you can um, you know be more a bit more creative with your shutter speeds uh, you don't have to go quite so fast uh, to try and eradicate the, um, the, you know, the lens shake. So that's probably the most simple and straightforward um, setup. With the, uh, the ball head, um, you know, what you can do is also move that um, down into that position there. Okay, so if you then release that I, I would actually probably the way I normally do it is have it on that side okay turn that all the way around okay and then you can sort of loosen off um, the friction on here and you've got yourself something that is almost sort of like a gimbal type type movement um, it's not something I use the ball head for. It's, um, you know, I've got the Wimbley sidekick, so, um, you know, I, I don't kind of need that. It puts the thing off balance 
Um, I don't think you have a particularly smooth um, kind of movement on it. Um, so, you know, it's not something I use personally, um, but if you've got, um, you know, nothing else, um, then, you know, you can certainly use that. Moving on now, this is the way um, I have it set up. I get my um, Wimberley sidekick, attach that to the plate there. Okay, so you have that scenario. Attach the lens to the Wimberley like that. Okay, and now you've got just you know an absolutely fantastic. Um, proper proper gimbal okay now one thing you may notice i've got the um you know the battery extender and the you know the um the, the battery grip on the d500 because this sigma lens extends it's very difficult when in fact it's impossible to find a uh, a point to actually balance it so it, here you'll see you know that's pretty well balanced you know that's about as good as you're going to get but the lens extends and so there's no single point of balance but i just find having the battery grip on here gives a little bit more weight um, to the to the back of the camera so it kind of evens it out a little bit um, and i also have the um the, the the plate sort of set as far back into the grip um, as it will go um you know while still being uh, stable and, uh, and and safe so that is pretty much my go-to um setup for you know just fairly normal um, run and shoot or you know walk and shoot um, photography and it works brilliantly absolutely fantastic um, have a look at the um, the little video I did last week about the Wimberley sidekick I'll link to that up here um, if you're considering sort of getting a gimbal it is an absolute first class bit of kit um, and uh, yeah I, I, I love it okay so um, the other way that I uh, set up for uh, monopod photography is using the leveling head and the van's accessories now the way I do that is I take off the rubber foot I get my leveling head here now generally I keep um, a, a thread uh, adapter um, on there because depending on which uh, tripod I'm using um, or sorry which head I'm using um, if it's the uh, the Manfrotto for example um, or if it's the uh, the Benro um, or whatever it may be sometimes you need a different um, size thread on there so that's the reason that's on there really important not to lose those okay first thing I'm going to want to do is attach the vans accessories to the leveling head so they just screw in like this now there's a whole heap of different ways you can use this head with these accessories again check out the um, the review I did um, on the tripod and that will give you some more uh, idea okay so that um, that's what you end up with now what I do is just extend out the um, the legs so that they're covering a wider area at the bottom okay and then screw that into the bottom of your monopod and there you have it okay so now you've got a really really steady base let's put the camera and lens on there okay now you know that is perfectly stable um, I have every confidence um, in leaving that and walking away from it um, not if it was particularly windy um, I would say but you know if you need to just run off and get something from your bag or something or other you know you can leave it as you can see it's perfectly um, stable there is no wind today but um, luckily but uh, you know I've, I've tested it 
um, you'll see on the again on the uh, the review video I did of the uh, the tripod that was in really blowy conditions on Dartmoor and it um, yeah didn't fall over. So you know again depending on on what kind of situation um, you know you're in, um, you've just got a really fantastic. Um, gimbal there I mean it's absolutely brilliant so this is what I'm going to be using when we head off down the river um, to see if we can find some mandarin duck and you know various other things um, because I, I, I think um, that's going to be the best base for me um, to uh, you know to get down and, 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 and actually um, capture some of those low level shots um, so yeah I mean it's a fantastic um, bit of kit I absolutely love my monopod photography um, the uh, you know with the legs as well you can expand them out or you can make them you know narrower depending on what the situation is because it's a leveling head as well you can change the um, you know the friction um, on the leveling head so again you know you have some uh, some range of, uh, of movement there okay so that's it it's a fantastic setup um, I'm really excited to use it uh, today and hopefully get some fantastic shots I can hear so much bird life um, around here it's awesome um, we're going to head off uh, just walk down the river see what we can find um, I do want to end up in a particular spot where I was last week where I saw the kingfisher uh, see if we can maybe see that and, and get some shots but you know I'm not setting out to, uh, to, to find kingfisher today I just want to have a lovely day walking around the river and, and seeing what we can capture Okay, so I don't know about you, but I look back on the, uh, the images I upload to Instagram and you know, some of my favourite images and the vast majority of them have actually been taken when I've been out walking about with the camera. Um, not necessarily looking for anything in particular, um, just sort of walking out with the dog or walking with the family or you know, a day like today, just coming up to uh, the river and just having a bit of a scoot about and see what I can find. And I absolutely love this type of photography. I mean, I, 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 I think it's probably my favourite type because you never know what to expect. You don't know what's coming up. Um, and sometimes you can just get some absolute belters. Um, I really love it. All right, guys, and just like that, we're in the middle of a load of gold crust and I think nut hatch. Yeah, I've got this little gold crust. The problem is, I've got to remember where the sun is. You don't want to be shooting directly into the sun. tree creeper lovely really lovely a bit too much into the sun for an ideal scenario but that's fantastic That's great. Well, that was a pretty full on five minutes, that guys. Um, just happened to see a couple of gold crests in the bushes, and then all of a sudden, the closer I looked, they were sort of everywhere. Um, then I had some tree creepers come in, 
on the other side of the river and then one landed in that tree no more than about six feet away from me and that is the beauty of a monopod it just enables you to turn on a sixpence change your angle of fire you know shot change your you know your target whatever you you know you're looking at you can just change it like that and with a tripod there's just absolutely no way you'd be able to do that so that's where this this setup here you know with a monopod absolutely comes into its own um, you know, I'm not saying my photographs are the best in the world far from it but actually you know what this is enabling me to do is take more decent shots and that's how I'm going to improve so um, you know that was exactly what I came here for and a real prime example of what I wanted to show you um, today using this thrilled to bits with that absolutely spot on the tree creepers and the gold crests really difficult birds to photograph they're so fast and again you know if you're doing that handheld there's just no way you're going to be able to keep that up for very long um, you're, going to, you're going to start missing shots they're going to be you know out of focus all of that type of stuff and you know you just really reduce your chances of missing stuff with one of these so that was brilliant absolutely spot on all right guys well uh, after that fairly intense half hour or so um, I think it's time to fire up the jet ball and the aero press and get some coffee on the go um, and I thought this would be a really good opportunity to um, come down uh, to uh, river level and put the, um, the legs on the bottom of the, uh, the monopod with the levelling head and uh, give you an idea of how I use that and see if we can take some uh, video footage um, I've come back to the place where I saw the mandarin duck um, I would really love to get um, a shot uh, of one of those today so that's what we're going to try and do but first off we're going to go and get some of this incredibly beautiful fresh water straight off the moors at the river dart and we're going to make ourselves a cup of coffee okay guys so you can see that we've got the uh, the camera and um, monopod set up on the uh, the leveling head and uh, the van's accessories and it really is stable um, I mean you know you wouldn't want to leave it here in a force 10 gale um, in fact I would suggest you don't leave it there full stop but um, yeah I just wanted to demonstrate that you know I do have a lot of confidence um, in this bit of kit and it's yeah I mean it just opens up so much um, you know extra scope for you to take video um, as well as stills you know once you've um, unlocked the uh, the panning lock there on the ball head you know you've got a full range of, uh, of movement which is just absolutely awesome um, so what I've done um, as you can see um, I've uh, altered the the angle of one of the legs in the same way that you can do with a tripod when you extend the legs um, or you know extend the, uh, the spread of the legs depending on the um, the terrain that you're on you can do the same with the uh, with the vans here but yeah I mean such a quick and easy um, accessory to add um, just you know have the legs attached to the leveling head before you go out stick it in your bag and then as soon as you want it spin it on um, and away you go and you know it, it as, as well as you know I think just giving you another really really stable base um, it does just free up um, you know an extra hand or, or whatever as I said you know in case you need it for something if you want to get something out of your pocket or what have you you know you haven't necessarily got to be worrying about laying your camera on the ground and, and, and everything else so yeah I love it um, hopefully we'll get some uh, nice um, mandarin duck or even a kingfisher coming down this stretch I haven't actually seen anything of that nature yet um, but yeah just another stunning place to sit and um, watch the world go by all right guys well it's uh, pretty much time for me to uh, call it a day I'm nearly back at the car park um, I hope you've enjoyed that I hope you've uh, found it interesting to have a look at the way uh, I photograph with a monopod um, 
with the Wimberley head and the uh, levelling head from the uh, Mike tripod from three-legged thing. Um, if you've uh, enjoyed it, please uh, consider giving uh, me a like and, and subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like to see more films like this. Um, you know, I say it every time, but just what a fantastic day. Um, absolutely loved it. Um, another stunning, stunning morning on the River Dart. Um, saw some really interesting bird life, managed to get some decent shots. I think the shots of the nut hatch um, are probably the best ones I've uh, ever taken, so I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with those. Um, and seeing the tree creepers as well, just absolutely stunning, really, really lovely. Um, definitely the right uh, setup and equipment for that kind of photography. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, take a wander back to the car. Um, I'm about half a mile away from the car park, so I'm going to wander down um, and see what else I can find. So if I find any interesting uh, shots to take, stick around to the end um, and uh, I'll post them in the video then. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks ever so much for all of the encouragement and the, uh, the comments. Um, you know, the number of subscribers is, uh, is building every day and that's just fantastic. Um, and thanks for sharing, you know, allowing me to share uh, what I love doing um, and particularly in, uh, in the place I call home. All right, guys, see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.